it's a, it's a bee. What did we learn about the spicy snacks? It's on the other side of the window, but we're not going for it. <gasps> Good wonder. <laughs> Thank you for the woos. Thank you for the woos. Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, <laughs> audience. We see feisty this morning. Are you, <laughs> Are you full of it? Are you full of it? Are you ready for breakfast? She's like, I am ready for my breakfast. That is what the deal is. Hi, baby girl. Hi. Hey, I was trying to pet her. <laughs> Only you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You're insane. Oh, come on. Okay. I love you too. I'll, I'll come pet Memphis. To Memphis is like, whoa, this puppy. You tell her. See, you want to be feisty? I'll be feisty too. You don't think I could be feisty? I could totally be feisty. Well, anyway, I was just getting ready to feed the dogs and wanted to say a good, wonderful, beautiful morning party. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. But I have no idea what's going on today. Jamie actually just went out to the farm to pick up his dad. I think they're going to Home Depot to get some parts and stuff for the motorhome and things like that. Um, I don't know if we talked about it too much. But his dad's down here, staying in the motorhome out at the farm, at least through the summer, until uh, he figures out what he wants to do next. So they've been working on some stuff out there to uh, just make things a little bit easier. He's got water, hook up everything. Uh, they stayed out there one time when, they, he, when he came down during cancer treatment quite a few years ago. So he really likes it out there, and my parents are happy to have him out there. So that's been kind of nice. But anyway, I don't know what else is going on today. That's how this morning started. I'm getting ready to feed these dogs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Breakfast has been served. And the doorbell just rang, so I'm pretty sure we got a box, so I better go check that out. Oh my goodness. They look happy to me. I was right, we got a box. The next portion of today's video is sponsored by our amazing friends at HelloFresh. And you know what this means. I don't have to figure out what we're gonna make for, f okay, well that's not entirely true. I have three choices of what we're gonna make for dinner or lunch today. I'm gonna show you guys what we got and uh, what we got in the box. Like I said, lunch or dinner today. In the box, we got deli-style turkey wraps. Those look delicious. We got some creamy Dijon mushroom cavatip with noodles. I do not know how to say that word, but I got this one with chicken as well. You can see here, you can add some. So I could have gotten it as is, but I got it with chicken. And then some bacon jalapeno mac and cheese, which this looks amazing. And it might be this, we'll see. And if you don't know, everything in the HelloFresh box comes nice and pre-packaged. Always check under your ice for your remaining meats. So each menu is listed. It has a QR code in case you lose the cards. Makes it really easy to know which bag to grab for what you're making. Well, hi Memphis, would you like to tell them some more? So in those bags, you guys, everything is pre-portioned, so it cuts down on food waste. And then of course, the step-by-step -step instructions make everything super, super easy. I know you wanna go outside. We're going out, we're going in just a minute. Kira's over there ringing the bell. We're going out in just a minute. <laughs> but yeah, so everything in those bags is pre-portioned and you can see on the menus here, what comes with everything. Everything's pre-portioned, so you have a lot less food waste, which is awesome. And if you've never been to HelloFresh's website, you should definitely check it out because they have over 40 recipes to choose from every single week. And they have a lot of really good stuff on there, so you should go check that out. And you can do that by go to HelloFresh.com and use the code SnowDogsVlogs50 at checkout for 50% off your box plus free shipping. And also, if you did not know, every one of the cards tells you the prep time, so the prep time and the cook time. Prep time and cook time. Of course, this one, you don't really have to do much prep. It's already done. This is one of those fast lunches. Ready, set, lunch. So this one only takes 10 minutes. So it's kind of nice to know, depending on how much time you have, will depend on what you pick. Oh my goodness. So it's that time of the year again. I don't know if we'll find any because it was a little colder yesterday, but ready? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go! I already found one. There's one. So it's the time of the year when it gets really humid and stuff at night. I gotta try to grab these from the base. And we get mushrooms. There's some more. Oh, here's a big one. Oops, I dropped the other one I had. So what I do is I try to grab them by the base, pull them out, flip them in my hand, and pretty much have to walk the entire yard looking for the mushrooms. Because if we don't, somebody might eat the mushrooms. And from what we researched and what we found out last year, it sounds like pretty much most of the backyard mushrooms that are going to grow here are non-toxic to dogs. They may just give them like digestive upset and things like that, which we don't want that anyway. But 
I'm not taking the chance. It's pretty easy every time we let the dogs out here. We come out, we scan the yard, we try to, what are we doing with the sticks? We try to find the mushrooms and then we, uh, oh no, oh no. Guess what else is back? The acorns. Uh, which means we'll be picking up acorns as well. Thankfully they're just little right now. But when they get big enough, we'll get the acorn picker back out. Why are we eating sticks? You know that's not allowed. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get the sticks away from her. Don't you dare go over there and eat sticks, ma'am. So anyway, picking up mushrooms, picking up acorns, picking up sticks. Picking up all the things, apparently. That's what's happening right now. So do you wanna tell them? Look, Memphis is like, whoa, wait, hold on. I need to sniff what's going on here. Yeah? Do you wanna tell everybody what happened? Or should I tell everybody what happened? Huh? How do you wanna do this? Huh? So, you guys, once again, this is real life. There are parts of our life that, like everybody else's life, are chaos. You've seen that over the past few vlogs where we've been to the vet a bajillion times. A bajillion times at the vet! But no, not this dog, not that dog. Don't kick it! Don't do it! Don't, don't, don't! Oh, that's your face. You can kick your face. <sighs> so, it's gonna be really hard to see because she's not gonna sit still for it, but I was outside with all three dogs just a little bit ago, and that dog and that dog were playing, as they always do. And then I came inside and Eleanor had what I thought was like a wet spot on her ear. You can kind of see it from here. I already put stuff on it, but right here. See where that is? See? It's, it's yellow because I put medicine on it. I sprayed it and we cleaned it and we put medicine on it. I think what happened, not 100% sure because there was no like screamy reaction. Uh, Kira and Eleanor were playing, running around like you guys have seen them do many, many times before. And all of a sudden, Kira like barked at Eleanor and then ran away from her. Which sometimes happens when Eleanor gets a little bit too rough with Kira. So I actually thought that Eleanor had gotten too rough with Kira and that Kira was like, I'm done. I don't want to play with you anymore. Leave me alone. He's not out there, honey. He's really not out there. So I was like checking over Kira and I'm like, oh, she's fine. She's fine. Come inside and Eleanor's got a bloody ear. I don't know if it was a claw that got it. I don't know if it was a stick. I don't know if Kira's tooth caught it because you guys have seen them play and how they play and they're rah, 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 rah. you know, they're dogs. They play and they play rough. These two especially play rough. It's bound to happen. I do want to clarify this was not an aggressive. Oh, it's a, it's a bee. What did we learn about the spicy snacks? It's on the other side of the window, but we're not going for it. Just see, like that. They just push each other around because that's how they are. I think we might have to go get rid of that. Is it a bee or a beetle? Oh, it's a beetle. So anyway, long story short, I was on a train once. You see how fast I get distracted? Um, can I show them? So you can see right there. And it looks a lot worse on camera than it actually is because uh, I put a bunch of medicine on it. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but ear wounds bleed like crazy. Like if I were to take Kira's ear and poke it with a needle, it's gonna bleed for forever because that's how ear wounds are. And the worst part about them is once they, co like, once they coagulate and they kind of start to seal, when your dog shakes their head, they open up again. <laughs> Thankfully, that only happened twice with Eleanor and so far, you know, it's been a little bit and it hasn't happened again, so. Did you bite her? Did you scratch her? Or did you hit her with a stick? Could you please tell me? I was out there and I didn't see any of that happen. And I was out there. But anyway, that's the chaos that has ensued today. Let me know in the comments below, how many of you guys have been through something like that before? Because we've had it happen. I believe Shelby got Memphis's ear once. Yeah, Shelby got Memphis's ear once. Oakley got Memphis's ear once. Ears are just easy to I guess make a little hole in when you're playing rough, right? You know what I you know what I have to say about it, Kira? Good job. Good job for standing up for yourself because that puppy picks on you and now she's bigger than you and I told you she was going to get bigger than you. I told you when you were little. I said, "You're taught you're the one that taught her how to do this." But today, good job. Good job standing up for yourself. She's like, "Yeah, that puppy, she can't pick on me. I'm going to teach her a lesson." I'm pretty sure you did. Could you not teach her any more lessons though? I don't think I could handle it. Thanks. Boop. We have kitchen helper number 1. Where are you coming? She's like, no, the, the deliver dude was just here. Hey, are you gonna come kitchen helper me? I'm gonna make some dinners. What do you think? She's like, yeah, but Greg is here and he's downstairs. Now I would like to go see him. We're not going downstairs. 
<laughs> you already saw Greg, I swear. So like I said, Greg is here and I actually have these as the four person meals, which is perfect because there's three of us. So we're gonna make the boys picked bacon jalapeno mac and cheese. Looks really good, looks pretty easy. We're gonna go ahead and make it. And like I was saying, the bag that has it listed on it, where is it, here it is. <laughs> I tore it in half when I opened it up. Uh, has everything we need inside the bag, minus of course the bacon, which I had in the fridge. I mean, all this stuff is in the fridge, but this was the stuff hiding under the ice in the box. So we're gonna pull it all out of here and prep. Super easy, everything step-by-step -step instructions. We're just gonna follow these. I got the produce all washed and chopped up and prepping the bacon. Now the instructions actually told me to chop up the bacon after, but I learned this trick the last time I made bacon, so I chopped it up first. Yeah. Do it either way, either way it'll work. Well, there's the best little kitchen helper ever, doing the little tipper tappers. I saw them little tipper tappers. Just like, guys, I'm the best kitchen helper ever. And ear wound kitchen helper number two. Maybe I can show you. She's like, no, don't look at it. It looks really good though. Yeah, really, it was just a scratch. It's just a scratch, Monty Python, anyone? And then where, oh, where has Miss Kira? Gone. Where did she go? <gasps> did she go all the way down in the office? Let's find her. Where, oh, where can she be? Hi, baby. I know. I turned the oven on to preheat it. I love you. You want to go downstairs with your dad? I'll let you downstairs with your dad. How about that? Good, good idea. Good idea. Frying more stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Look. Smell Best good. kitchen helper ever. Just Where's Kira? Just, yeah, I know. She wouldn't come out. She I wouldn't tried. come out. She wouldn't even go down to the basement <laughs> with you guys. I mean, I could lure her out here. And then, there's, and then there's this dog. She's like, <laughs> drop <dog>. anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, we got the cream sauce. It's a simmering. Now we're going to add some cheese. Ooh. All right. Cheesy, cheesy. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put it in a pan and cover it with panko and throw it in the oven. Yeah. Sound good? Sound good to you? You don't get any. I'm sorry. Sorry. And with that, we have some jalapeno bacon mac and cheese. And now we're gonna serve it to everybody. This looks really, really good. <gasps> Don't forget your green onions. Oh, yes, please. Your scallions. Why, Top, it with, <laughs> Top it with the skip. Look at this amazingness. It smells great. It looks so mm. good. Look, Greg's got the some The cheese was stringy and it got on it. It is. I mean, it's just too hot to try though. It's pretty hot, but uh, that looks really good. we need your review. Does it feel like home? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And you really like mac and cheese, so, and I don't make it often. That's why when I saw this one, I'm like, all right, we'll, we'll go with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, hello! Oh, did you Welcome come back? back! Oh yeah, that's definitely cheesy. Yeah? And hot. Yeah, well, be careful, don't burn yourself. <laughs> Greg's got strings over here. Yeah. Is it good? It's hot. <laughs> and Kira's back. Hi, Kira. All right, mm -hmm. we're gonna eat our food. So food was amazing as always, super good. If you guys are interested in checking out HelloFresh, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code SNOWDOGSVLOGS50 at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Thanks once again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and for feeding us because that means I didn't have to figure out what to make. Um. Whoa, what else do you have to say? I guess I'm in your eye. Hey, do you have something else to say, ma'am? She's like, yeah, I'm gonna go get dad. <sighs> what do you think? Do you think we should go for W-A-L-K? Hey, come here, you with the hole in your ear. She's like, it's not a hole, it's just a scratch. I know it's just a scratch. It just, they're like, she was watching for you. Like, She's like, I dad. need dad. dad. Dad's gotta I, come with us for the walk. I, can I put my sock on? <laughs> I just uh, cleaned her ear again, because I thought it was looking kind of weird, but you know, we looked at it, like Jamie, Jamie said, same thing. It's just a little scratch. It's just an ear wound, and ear wounds suck. Yeah. Didn't seem to hurt you any. No, no, it doesn't affect her at all. <laughs> That's how we know it's not that big of a deal. It just looks, it looks scarier than it was. Well, yeah. Still, Kira, high five. High five. <laughs> Give me the high five. Fine, leave me hanging. She's like, you ain't got no treats. You wanna go for a walk? Right. You wanna go for a walk? All right, let's do it. Let's go. You wanna go for a walk? Let's go. All right, we're out. We're bunny hunting. We just saw John Matthew and Charlotte. They came out and said hi to us. I still think that's, bye! I still think that's my favorite part about where we live, <laughs> is that we get to walk right by them. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes they see us, sometimes they don't. But what the dogs haven't seen yet is uh, we already found bunny? bunny number one. There you, there you see it. Right to it. 
Bunny? No, oh yeah, she does. You want There's the bunny. Do you want to just... There he goes. Ooh, his little body. Like, He's move. like, should I move? Should I? Maybe I should move. Yeah. Have I seen you? My and I'm in, a, I'm in the trees. <laughs> and I'm in the trees. Bunny number one. What do you think, Memphis? We're gonna go find more bunnies. Good job, sweetheart. Good job. Car. Oh, he's going the other way. I didn't know if we'd see any again. With the top, we were out so much later last night, and they were. Yeah, I guess you're right. They're doing whatever bunnies do. They make more bunnies. They hide a little bit more in the middle of the day, I think. Yeah, probably because it's hot. Yeah, and probably sleep at night. Yep. They definitely eat a lot in the morning and the evening. Yeah. I don't know what they're eating, but... Mmm, grass, grass. Clover. Yeah. And little purple flowers. Right. Isn't that what they liked eating on, on uh, Bambi? Isn't that what Thumper ate? Was the little flowers? I don't know if that's an accurate yeah. movie. I mean... <laughs> I mean, if it's accurate, then I think bunnies talk, too. All right, we'll keep walking and look for more bunnies. No, there's a bunny right there. Oh, I thought, oh, and there's the other bunny over there. He's, there he goes, his little cottontail. Same place we see him every night. Yeah, we see the bunnies. Bunnies, 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 bunnies. Memphis is doing the zigzags now like Eleanor usually does. Oh, there it is. There is the bunny. Hi, bunny. He's like, I'm not running that fast. I've learned they can't get me. We're not going to let them get you. As long as you don't enter our yard, I can guarantee I'm not going to let them get you. Yeah, Keep going. Yeah, don't run towards us. Thanks. <laughs> Was your walk amazing? How come you were the only one that came in? Where did everybody else go? Oh, pupper number one. <laughs> you realize the water's inside? <laughs> Memphis is like, yeah. Where's pupper number two? Pupper number three is in here. You don't want to come in? Let's go get a drink. Get some water. Let's see what Miss Kira is up. Hi. Come on, let's get some water. Oh, you think so, huh? Gonna play this game? Go play the game. Go play the game. <laughs> She's like, yes, this is my favorite game. It's the catch Kira game. I'm gonna catch ya. I'm gonna catch ya. Yeah. <laughs> that little tail tuck is the greatest. Don't you dare, ma'am. Don't you dare. Come on, Kira, come on. Let's go. Inside. Let's go. Come on. Go. 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 She's like, mm-mm. We're playing the game. Come on, Kira. Go. Go. She's like, look at me. I can reach this tree. How are you this feisty? We just went for a WALK. Come on. There's good water inside. Let's go inside. Get the water. Go inside. Go. Inside. Get the water. There you go. That's the direction. Keep going. Go on. Keep going. <laughs> Don't look at me with that side eye. You and that fluffy tail. Keep going. You're gonna do it. Ah, you think I'm stupid? I know what you're doing. There's water in there. I swear there's water in the house. Go. Oh, maybe this time, if I'm fast enough, she's thinking about it. She sees Eleanor. We might make it in the house. Thank you, honey. That was a fun game. I appreciated you. All right, I just cleaned up Miss Eleanor's ear again. <laughs> Like, can I see it? Can you show everybody? She's like, no, I'm not showing nobody. And we're gonna go ahead and get ready to go to bed. We went on a walk. We came home and hung out a little bit. Are you sniffing my shoes? Yeah, so this is what I used, if you guys are wondering. This is some of the stuff I used for Eleanor's ear today. We used a little bit of this. And then, what's, there's the other one. There it is. So that's, we use this. We use a little bit of this to make sure it would stop bleeding because like I said, ear wounds bleed like crazy. And then I just cleaned up her ear with this, which I'll probably use again in the morning because we don't want it to get infected or anything. Like we don't want a little thing to turn into a big thing. We don't need any more big things right now, girls. Yeah, that's what I thought. Still, Kira, Kira, high five. She's like, mom, that's paw and you don't have snacks in your hand. Sit down. Okay, high five. Yes, that's really a give paw, but that was a high five because you finally stood up for yourself. <laughs> Everybody's like, you always pick on Kira. Nah, I don't pick, I do pick on Kira. You know why? Because she can handle it. Excuse me, ma'am. You are supposed to be last. Excuse me, ma'am. There you go. Sit. Sit. On your butt. Thank you. Diesel Pete. There you go. All right, you guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big and we will see you again soon. Go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Good night, audience.